everyone, it's me, Angela Rockwood, The Rolling Empire. Today is Warrior Wednesday, and on Warrior Wednesday, I'm usually going to be interviewing my friends who are warriors, and they are unstoppable in their life, just living life to the fullest. But today, for those of you out there who know, this week is my anniversary of life. Yes, I got in my car accident on Saturday, September 3rd, and Sunday is my anniversary of life. It's the day that I woke up from my car accident. And usually I celebrate by having a white party where I bring in all my friends to my house. We dress up in white in remembrance of my girlfriend, Twee Trang. And for the Power Ranger fans out there, you know who Twee Trang is. And may we think about her at this very moment. May she rest in peace. I love her, I miss her every day. And I still probably am gonna have a party this weekend to celebrate. So. I'll bring you guys into my world and you guys can check out and meet all my friends. But on this Warrior Wednesday, I am doing something grandioso where I go out into the desert. And if you guys remember Anthony Judy from Push Girls, her sweetheart brought out all of his ATVs and his doom buggy. And we went out there riding and driving and getting our adrenaline, just ripping, roaring and riding. So check it out. Today we're going out, we're gonna go ride these ATVs and the buggies. It's gonna be Willie and Warrior Day today. Willie and Warrior, right into there? Yeah, come join us for the fun. Yeah. All right, we're heading out to the desert. Sorry for the bumpiness. I'm gonna put you two directly in the thing. I'm not gonna use your chairs. Say hi, everyone. Hey! I can't wait! And the dog is here. We can't wait. Bye! <laughs> it's it's going to be so much fun. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I can't wait. The reason why I chose to go out to the desert and do the ATVs is because, as you guys know, I got injured in a car accident and I'm paralyzed from the neck down. And before my car accident, I used to just love speed and I was a serious adrenaline junkie. I was starting to get into racing motorcycles and anything with speed and adrenaline, I was all over it. And now I'm basically paralyzed where it's very difficult for me to even move my body, let alone have control of my body. So I decided that I wanted to get over and you know, when you have some fear within you, you just gotta push the limits and just get over it. That's the thing. So I decided to do that and enjoy the ride. And it was freaking exhilarating and fun. Hey, so here I am. I'm all locked up, locked down, ready to go. Got my uh, scarf to hold my legs together. And I'm in the double harness. Look at those mountains over there. That's what we're heading for. Yeah! And here I am, all strapped in. I'm waiting to get this groove on here. Engines are ready, all fired up. The boys are prepared. And we're gonna head out to those mountains out there. And there's my driver. Oh my gosh. One thing that I learned as we went out there 
even though it was like ripping in and roaring and all the dust flying and everything and we're just like bouncing around and getting all our adrenaline going it was pretty relaxing believe it or not uh stefano my bambino he brought me to the top of the hill and i sat up there just taking a moment and just thinking about everything and the wind was like howling in my ear and just blowing across my face and I took that very moment to just be grateful and to just actually realize that here I was alive and breathing and having the ability to do what I was doing and that's something that a lot of people take for granted people forget that we have this gift this gift of life and we have to cherish it we have to be grateful for it and we gotta just take our life and just give it back to the world and give it back to others and don't forget to give it to yourself as well. So you have to enjoy the moments and cherish them. We're at the top of the mountain. Look what I brought you. We're at the top. Let's We're do at the this top. The climbing. Let's do the climbing. Oh my god, roller coaster. Oh my god. Seriously, baby? Warrior Wednesday we definitely are gonna get pretty in depth with the Warriors when I interview them it's gonna be about mind body and spirit for me mentally I'm pretty fearless spiritual and when it comes to the body I like to just push the limits and just do things that my body normally probably wouldn't do because I'm not walking so for those of you out there who have a bucket list full of things that you need to do you need to release your fears you need to go out there and you need to get it you need to do it and just be unstoppable. That's basically what it's all about. We only have this one moment and don't waste your time and just enjoy the joy ride. For the warriors, you guys know what it's all about to like train the body hard and be a warrior and get it going and ripping and roaring. So look how I train my warriors. All right, so here we are. This is how I train my warriors. Go, one, two, three, four, five, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> That was it. I spent the day, about four or five hours, out there ripping and roaring and having fun on the ATVs with my friends, and we enjoyed every minute of it. We went back to Auntie Judy's house, we had a beautiful dinner, had a toast, and then we headed back to Los Angeles. And I basically closed the night with just a prayer of gratefulness. And I wanna just wish everybody out there just continue doing what you do. Be unstoppable. Don't let anything get in your way, no matter what. And just shine to the fullest. All right? So thanks for joining me today on Warrior Wednesday. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. Give me the questions. And on Tidbit Thursday, I will answer the questions, make a show of it. And don't forget to tune in for tomorrow. Heels on wheels, heels on wheels. It's where you learn if you're in a wheelchair or if you're curious, how do you wear high heels on wheels? So that's for tomorrow's segment. So for the meantime, you guys have a rockin' Wednesday and keep shining. All right, bye. Thank you for tuning in.